What's up, what's up? So today, working on the SS again. What I am doing is replacing the motor from the driver's side fan. So this one, the driver's side would be the fan for the engine fan and then the uh, for the engine fan cooling. It's pretty much the one, the driver's side. I don't know how they put it, the left or right side, but the driver's side is specifically for cooling the engine. And the passenger side is the one that's supposed to be for the AC. So, uh, it's just two bolts, uh, two 10 millimeter uh, bolts that you just unscrew out. It'll be one at the top and then the one on the uh, right hand side on the, uh, towards the bottom. And then the bottom one is not one on there because it just sits in there. And let me show you guys this because I already got it out. See, they got a plug right here. So the bottom piece that's it right here, there's no screw. There's one screw that goes right here. And then the one on top goes right here. So it's back there somewhere. You see the arrow. So I already taken it out. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, my car is running a little bit hot. I replaced the fuses, the relays. They all good. I even swapped them to make sure they were running. And they all good. And uh, I had to get a new motor, fan motor. Necessarily don't have to get a new fan with the motor. If you want to, by any means, go for it. But, I just bought the motor from Napa. They have most of the car parts at Napa. O'Reilly and uh, Alizon, once cars become 20 years old, they pretty much don't have nothing on hand. They have to order. And most majority of the time, they don't even, you know, carry them. I mean, like, you can't even special order them no more. So. So let me get to this fan, right? Let me go ahead and explain to y'all. So, like I said, this is on the driver's side. You'll see it say left, left hand thread, all right? So I mean, you gotta go, so righty tighty and lefty loose, but this one here's the opposite. Righty loosey, lefty tighty, all right? So going to the right to unloosen it. Screws off, then you pull this off. So next, what are you doing? Taking away one, two, and three. All right, so we got the fan blade on. Next, what you want to do, these are 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, two, and three. Just hold the fan blade and untie it. Next, I think we we'll have to break down this because, yep, cause this is stuck in there. You see? Let me figure it out. Let me show y'all the rest. Yeah, I think we'll have to break it down. Oh no! There you go. I just squeezed it up, squeezed it on out. So put the fan, put the fan motor behind the fan cup bracket. All right, put the bracket behind the fan motor. See how you got the three points right here? See my hand up? So you just slide off in there, that's it. So lay the fan bracket on the ground first, this, the bracket piece, and then put the fan motor down. But make sure you put the connector through first though. All right, so just like this, bam. And then start screwing your nuts and bolts in. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, secure, and then I'm gonna crank it up and make sure it's working. Man, it's hot as hell. <sighs> All right, so I got these bolts and nuts in. Ooh, this one. I got the one, two, three, they in. So next is the fan blade. Just place it on top, be careful. But make sure it slide down. You see how it's sitting flush? It don't supposed to sit like that. There you go. So spin it to the left so it'll clip. 
And then good thing, just spin it and stop it. Make sure that it's on the motor. So you spin it and stop it and you feel and hear the motor inside the fan motor. Spin it, it's not connected. But once it's like this, it's connected. You can feel it in the ridges. You can just shake it side to side and it's connected. Uh, so I'm gonna use the new one and make sure we go to the left. Remember left is tight for this one, for the fan blade. Left is tight and right is loose. So I'm gonna tighten this down and put it back on the 96 and take it from there. All right, y'all. Y'all know I run into problems. So let me show you what broke. So this little nut, little O-ring just broke on me. So what I did was uh, I'm not gonna use the new one for to put it back on. And the reason why, because when you tighten this up, it's gonna come off because since I broke the O-ring. So I'm just gonna use the new one, the old one I meant, the old nut for the, um, what's it called, the old nut for the uh, fan blade. And that way, you know, see it's, it's all secure, it's circle. The circle right here is covered. The hole is covered by this nut. So I always have problems, so, but nevertheless, I didn't throw this away. I never throw anything away. That's why it's important to keep your old stuff still. You never know when you're gonna need it, cause you're gonna need it. Like me, I always have bad luck. So let me tighten this up, put it back on the impala and make sure it's working. So I got it in there. Uh, it haven't turned on yet cause the temperature haven't risen, rose yet, but it's in there. Let me see if I got a flat. See the AC is on, so the AC fan is on. This is the engine fan. It haven't turned on yet because it's not running hot. 